Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. Today we are discussing, so who really trains the messenger of Christ? Beloved, it is the Spirit. And I want to encourage you, if you are called into ministry, it is vitally important that you learn that the Holy Spirit wants to become our navigator. And the reason some people are frustrated spiritually is because you have yet to learn that the Holy Spirit is the one who is nudging you. He is giving you an unction. And until you learn to move with that. For instance, one thing I've learned about the Holy Spirit is I do not plan my day. I make uh, decisions about some things I want to do, but I've learned to be fluid, to just go with the flow. I know some things I got to do, but I've learned to just, just kind of go with the flow because the Holy Spirit can have a divine connection of someone he wants you to edify, but if you are strict about your day, if you are strict about I'm doing this, and you just, you, you're dead set, I'm doing this. You cannot be led by the Holy Spirit. And one of the things I've learned about personality, your propensity, your persona, the way you may normally go about interacting with people has to be brought to the cross. For instance, I am a very social person. When I meet people, it's so easy for me to talk to people. And, you know, I can have a party and invite probably hundreds of people when I'm just sharing, when I'm just plain sharing. But in the spirit, as a servant, as a warrior for Christ, I consider myself a, a, a woman in the army of the Lord. And even though we look a certain way, we talk a certain way, we do certain things, t gifts and talents that people see, it's the spirit in you, the spirit joy equipment that you have that the Holy Spirit is utilizing in you. And if your persona gets in the way, you can you can harm God's God's leading and bringing you to a place where you obey him, you can harm that process when you are dead set on being you. Now follow me with this. By nature, I can meet and greet people, have a party. That's my natural self. If I was not a servant of Jesus, if I was not in the harvest, I would probably still be running my salon business, having you know, all types of, I'd probably be a socialite, the truth be told, because I love people. God has put this in me. I love people. But as a minister, as a servant, I am not permitted in this season of my life to socialize. I do not socialize outside of ministry. I do not go to family gatherings. I do not, I don't, I don't go anywhere. Because I am fully dedicated to my ministry. And because of this, there are certain types of people that, that I am drawn to by nature. I just love them. But I cannot have fellowship beyond the business of God. Because there is so much responsibility that he will give you, friend. And the more you are faithful to God in the little things, he gives you more to, more to do. And you just don't have time. As a human being, we only have so much time in a day. So if you are a person that desires to, to be in the harvest, you are in the harvest. The anointing and the call of God is on your life. Beloved, listen and hear me very closely. You cannot be a socialite and work these fields. It's not possible. 
And this is what is causing problems for some people because they think being around people and talking to people mean you're, in, you're doing ministry. This is not true. We have to learn to minister unto the Lord. Our, our number one centerpiece is Jesus. And once we cease to have intimacy with our Father, once we cease to spend that quality time with our Father, ministering unto the Lord, we don't have much to give anyone else because we do what? Burn out. So your personality, your persona, your pers your propensity has to be brought to the cross. You have to make sure, friends, that you are understanding when God is constraining you to train you to be faithful to Him. And listen, friends, when you start talking about selling out, people really think that it is a game. Selling out to, to, to Christ, it's, it requires your time. Time is the commodity given to every man equally. And if you do not learn to spend your every minute when, when you're not doing anything, this busy work, administrative work, you're spending time with him in song, in worship, and singing heartfelt praise and thanksgiving to God. When you're not doing that, you may be pondering the scriptures. But at all times, your time is set apart for God. And until we understand, the further you go, the more responsibilities that God may give you, the more restrained you are from regular, excuse me, gatherings and social socializing. Mm -mm. Listen, friends, when a soldier goes to war, he leaves everything behind. And for months and months at a time, they are quarantined with one another that's in the battle. And so it is with us, friends. We have to understand our position, what God has called us to do. And we must learn to yield to the leading of the Spirit. Because He, at the end of the day, is in charge of of the harvest. The Lord of the harvest is God's spirit via Christ Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, friends, as human beings, we need sleep. We need rest. You can't just go, 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 go. There, there has to be balance. And this is why there is no time for all the socializing that some people still want to do. It, there's no time, friends. And when I speak of socializing, there are people who are spending hours upon hours with friends and family eating. Play, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with it if, that's, if, you, if you're not in that season. But if you're in a season where the Spirit is trying to tame and train and bring you into your, your, your ministry... Friends, he takes you through seasons. You Ain't none of that going to be going down. How do you think we get all our work done? How do you think you get your books written? Some of you, he, he's, he's called you for years to sit down and write. You won't do it. Because when, when certain uh, family members call for a gathering, who's the first to RSVP? You. But, but God's saying, what about me? I need that time alone with you so you can hear my heart, hear what's on his heart. It takes time. So, beloved, who trains the, 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 the messenger? It's the spirit. But he needs time with you. He needs time alone with you. So don't despise those moments where you feel that, that you're, you, you, you can feel that, that come away, my beloved. And just sit with me. This could go on for months and years. In my case, it was years. Just me and God. I didn't do any socializing. No family functions. No, none of that. It was me and God. I was so in love with God. I just wanted to know who he was. And his spirit was calling me. And I loved every second of that season. Hours upon hours in the scriptures at the metro parks, looking into his his greatness, looking into the trees. I would I would love to watch the the leaves wave and 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 the and the backdrop of the blue skies, friends. This this sometimes is all he wants you just to bask in his presence. He don't want nothing else from you. And then you go through seasons for myself, years of taking notes, studying scripture along with the spirit. 
uh, study Bibles. I had all types of uh, resources to help me understand Scripture. Just hours upon hours upon hours with God. With no one, just me and Him. And I've always, my friend, been a worshiper through song. I love to sing. I love to put on good praise and worship and, and, and listen and, and just, just think about His goodness. Friends, this, this is part of the training to know how to get away with Him and, and, and be alone with God. And let me tell you something as I close this exhortation because enough has been said. We are blessed that in, in, in the 21st century... Jesus and the disciples did not have CD players. They did not have YouTube. They did not have social media and all this t advanced technology to listen to praise and worship. We could go to YouTube and listen to Thanksgiving and praise all day long. So when you feel some kind of way, beloved, just take inventory that God has blessed you where you can come to him and spend that alone time, press a button, and, and sing songs and hymns to God all day long. That's a blessing, my friend. And one thing that a warrior for God must learn to do is come away quietly and do just that. Worship God. And sometimes, that's all this, this needed. So enough has been said. Who trains the, the messenger? The Holy Spirit. But if you go kicking and screaming, how can he get a hold of your heart and, and download what's on the Father's heart if you refuse to, 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 to allow your, your everything to be examined by the Spirit, including your personality? Because the, as I said, friends, I love people, but as a messenger, God has trained me in a way that goes against my personality because he, he does not, he wants me to stay in a, in, a, in a place where my heart is protected because people can be very treacherous and people can be like the weather. They love you today and they don't like or want to be bothered with, bothered with you the next day. And a messenger has to be able to maneuver through people. They praise you today, just like they did Jesus. They sang, Hosanna today, and crucify him the next day. That's people. That's why the messenger must be okay walking alone. Enough said. Till next time, God bless you, my friend.